Hello, this is David Ward with another Blender Cookie tutorial. And in this tutorial I want to show you, actually this quick little tip, I want to show you how to bake. Since it's a cookie site, we need to learn how to bake. So let's get rid of the old cube, and we're going to add in, shift A, add in the monkey. And let's do the old typical adding the subsurf, subdivision surface and making it smooth. And just pop into edit mode and everything's already selected. Rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. Okay. Pop back into normal uh, object mode. And uh, something we need to do before we can bake, because what we're doing is baking a texture map, uh, is we need to add seams. So let's go in here and let's add some seams. Let's grab the uh, edge select mode. It's not necessary to get the edge. You can do it with any... Uh, you can do it with the vertex select mode also, but for my purposes, I'll just use the edge select. So selecting these edges, control E, it's going to add a seam. And let's go ahead and just come on around the whole head here. So we can, oops, zoom in too far. Okay. Uh, something that you can kind of see, it's kind of being ugly here on some of my points here in edit mode. I can't see what I'm doing because it's smoothed and I'm wanting to play with the non-smooth version. So let's just turn off right here where it says use modifier while in edit mode. Just click that and turn it off. Now you can see a lot better in here. Okay. So get those guys, right? Okay. Control E. Add a seam around there as well. And let's just go ahead and add a seam right and Control E. Mark seam. We don't have to get real detailed with this since, like I said, it's just, just an example. Let's go ahead and select these as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. And, okay, now control E, mark scene. Okay, and that's, that's good for now. Um, now, let's uh, go into the... UV editing. Actually, we don't have to change default views. What we can do is just click on this little diagonal lines up here. Just click and hold with your left mouse button, and you can drag out another window. And then right here, you can go to UV image editor. So now we want to add a new image, and um, let's select everything over here in the edit mode. Select all of our monkey, and let's go unwrap UVs, and then set it to be that new image that we just made. Okay, so that's not a bad unwrapping. Uh, that'll work for our purposes. Okay, so we got our, our UV map. Now, um, let's turn that off and let's render. We're gonna let's let's bake the uh, the ambient occlusion. So let's see what we're gonna look like here. Let's scale her up a little bit, rotate or some. Okay, go to the world settings and turn on ambient occlusion. Now, if we render. We've got our spotlight still showing. Let's get rid of that spotlight because I just, just want the environment ambient occlusion. So now if we render with just ambient occlusion, we don't see anything. It's completely black. So what we got to do is turn on some of this environment lighting. And we can play with the different settings here. I'll just go ahead and leave it white. Can I make this a little bigger? No. Okay. Five. I guess you can. If you, As long as you type it in here, you can make that bigger. So let's see what that looks like. Render that out. Okay. Let's do a little bit more. Um, let's see. Make that approximate also. And let's set this energy. Let's try to make this one, see what it looks like. Okay, that'll work for our purposes here. Uh, I'm going to bake this, and it's going to put some darkness around all these pieces here. So when I render it, I won't have to use ambient occlusion later on. It'll save some time when you get to the render. Ah, all these pop-ups always killing me. Um, it'll save some time when you get to the actual rendering part. So let's go ahead and escape out there. And now, select our monkey, and just go to the render part here. Scroll down. Go to bake right there at the very bottom. Bring that up. And where it says bake mode full render, we don't want that. We just want the ambient occlusion. So now let's uh, bring up our untitled here. And when we bake, you can see it start 
filling that in over here. And okay, so now we can save this as an image. Save it monkey test. Okay. And we can turn off ambient occlusion now here in the world settings. Turn that off. And we'll go ahead and add another light since we deleted that one. Shift A, add lamp. And let's add a spotlight. And let's go into front view and angle that to where it's pointing directly at our little Suzanne here. Okay. Okay, so now when we render, we turned off ambient occlusion. You can see it's just solid mesh. I mean, solid color. Uh, so since we saved this monkey, let's go over to the select Suzanne, go to the materials tab, and add a new material. And now I'll go over to the texture tab and add a new texture where it says clouds. Click on that. We want to use an image or movie. And since we have this in our scene already, we just have to click the little thumbnail picture there. And just use monkey test and now scroll down to mapping coordinates will be UV you can see it brings in our object and if we go to right here this is the preview window you can either preview your texture which is what we're doing now preview our material which is what we see when we're in the material tab or you can do a split screen and view both of them so you can see that it applied our ambient occlusion baked texture map to our sphere so if we render out now um, actually we need to change the lighting settings. The default is set to inverse square. It needs to be inverse linear. Okay. And I like to turn, and it already has buffer shadows. Okay. So now if I render, it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, the ambient occlusion is in here and you don't have to turn it on in your world settings anymore since it's already on there. It's baked into the mesh you kind of see it in here so but anyways let's do one more render like a direct head-on light okay and you can kind of see it's kind of difficult to tell here but um, the ambient occlusion makes around the around the crevices and things like that it darkens that up some so anyways it's just a quick Quick way to use the bake function, and uh, hopefully you learned a thing or two. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.